hunger. People ask me, what drives my motivation? The answer can be many things, but for myself, it's from within. And another thing is hunger. Waking up every morning, what drives that hunger? Repeating the same actions every day in order to improve yourself. So this year, a lot has changed for myself. And my question is, 2018s are on the corner. How am I going to improve? What can I do differently? And sometimes you want to think that a lot of the things you can do and change is outside, but everything as cliche as it sounds is from within. From the minuscule things, as much as measuring how much milk I'm putting into my coffee, being consistent, and also learning self-discipline as a human being is something that I'm attempting every day. My hunger for success is unparalleled and my will to become a doctor and at the same time make this YouTube channel a success is a goal of mine that I invest in all the time. But let's kick it off. What's up guys, it's Mike Diamonds and welcome to the video. We're now in the month of Christmas, so if you guys live anywhere north, you know that the days are shorter. It's already starting to get dark. Can you imagine? We're in the month of December, which means it's Christmas time. Hold up. <laughs> that is much better. I hope I don't look stupid. But, guys, let me quickly chat to you guys. So, beginning of the year in January, we, Team Diamonds, were at 20,000 subscribers. And 2017 is arguably the best year of my life. We are approaching 200,000 subscribers, which is amazing. You guys know I come from a humble background. If you've been on my channel, you guys know that my life has changed completely. And that's thanks to you guys. So, December month is the chance for me to be able to give back. I wanna give back because I am extremely thankful for you guys. So from now onwards, in the month of December, I will be giving something away, either a piece of Gymshark clothing in every single video, or in my protein supplement or a piece of clothing, or I'll be giving away my training program, every single video that I upload. All you have to do is be subscribed, turn on post notifications, and like the video down below in the comment section comment anything whatever you want to comment with your Instagram handle every single video that I upload in this month I will pick a random winner and I will send you that gift it's a way for me to say thank you to you guys so guys I hope that that's motivation so every video just do that and you have the chance to win either Gymshark my protein or my training program and my diet program but let's get on into the video so as you guys know, today we are doing my pull day, pull A, and I'm working on the new Project Diamonds V3, but we're gonna stick to the classics. We're gonna start with deadlifts. We're gonna start from heavy, and then over the next few sets, we're gonna go lower. So this is 190 kilograms. This will be the heaviest that I've gone. So let's kick it off. Yeah. 
actually it shouldn't be. So we're back from the grocery store. I had to pick up a few things, but before that, you guys saw that it was a pretty intense pull day. My back is sore, so I'm just gonna take it easy. But let me show you guys what I got at the grocery store exactly. Run up quickly with you guys what I got at the grocery store. Salsas. I love the salsas to add to my rice, my pastas, whatever. These, if you don't want dry foods, this is great to add. I also picked up some mixed veggies, some tomatoes, mini pizzas as like a snack. And then I got some mixed veggies and cherry tomatoes and jalapenos. Water, gas water so I can put it with my flavor drops, beans. Sushi, I don't know if I'll have this but I might have a little because I haven't eaten anything today. And then some chicken breast, bread, eggs, water. That is the entire outlook. And let's start it off. The title of the video, what happened to the Brandon Harding collab? I feel like since September, until this very moment, I have been an L city. I have been taking L's left and right, and I've just been, you know, pushing them under the rug, pushing them under the rug. I don't wanna like talk about it all the time on my channel because it just seems like a lot of negativity. But let me take you guys way back. As you guys know, I was supposed to compete in September. I got all the way to the airport, shredded down to the bone to find out I can't even leave the country. <laughs> that was a traumatic experience, but I was like, ah, you know, I had so many people going out to the UK to meet me. And then this time, I flew out to the UK again. I think it was like the first week of November. And I'm not posting as much because I don't want to build a, a lot of hype around it. I'm like on my way to the airport scared that my passport might just get rejected again because, again, that competition money was maybe like $2,000, $3,000 down the drain. Cool, but that's what happens in business. You need to accept it, you know, things happen. Now, I'm flying over to collab with Brandon and my boy Gabriel, and I'm trying to plan and meet as many of you guys as I can. I'm supposed to meet with Gymshark, and we get back into L City, guys. We fly from Moscow, Russia, into Frankfurt. Everything's A-OK, -okay. I'm so focused, but, they open the back, the back door of the plane instead of the front and people are rushing. So that catches me off guard guys. I get onto the bus that will traffic us or take us to the airport. As I'm on the bus, your boy forgets his passport in the little cubby where you put your stuff in. And I'm on the bus and I'm like, wait, 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 my passport's on the plane. And I have a connection flight in an hour. As I get off that bus, I notify them, guys. It was like, it was, it was, I just got off the bus. And you won't even imagine, I missed my flight to the UK because they took almost two hours to get back my passport. They were like, no, um, we're still looking for it. You don't need to look for it, it's right there. Cool, I missed my flight because I forget my passport. Boom, Mike takes another L. I'm like, all right. I let everyone know, I'm like, guys, I'm gonna be there late. I postponed my meeting with Gymshark. I'm supposed to be filming with Brandon already. They're already going on and filming. And I'm like, Jesus. Needless to say, the rest of that weekend took suit. But it was so lit, guys. We went to Birmingham. We went to London. I was there with Bur Brandon. I was there with the Rise team. I met with Gabriel. We ended up like renting an Airbnb that the previous tenants that before had a major fiesta. I want to talk about what just happened. I'd rather not say <laughs> because it's just, I'm going to turn the light in one second. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'd rather not say it's been that bad. Long story short, we just went to the Airbnb that we were meant to be stopping in. We walked in, the whole place reeked of like marijuana. They'd been doing drugs on like a spoon. It was drugs everywhere and alcohol. It was crazy. I recorded it all. We were like roaming the streets of London, taking pictures at Tower Bridge. We're just doing so many cool things. We're like, it was such an adventure. And I was recording it, recording it, recording it on my 128 memory card. Note the word memory card. Your boy flies back and also remember that I flew to the UK right after we were supposed to get kicked out of our apartment. So you can imagine where my head is. I have, an un I have a half packed apartment. I'm in the UK trying to film this collab. I need to come back so I can transition to move to this new apartment. 
Bruh, as I land back, I'm back on catch up. I'm trying to just make sure I'm done with school. I'm right with school because that's priority. And then immediately, guys, as I land off the plane, we're packing bags, we're trying to move here, we're trying to transition as much as possible because the faster we do it, the more money we can save. We are students, end of the day. Bro, I posted one picture on my Instagram. I wanted to post because it was so long since I had posted a picture on Instagram that had my memory card. I posted this picture. It was really cool. Mike Diamonds 23 if you want to see it. I titled it, England is my city, and my memory card was there as we're packing, and in my mind, subconsciously, I said, it will be so funny if I lost this memory card. Bruh. Maybe four hours into moving, memory card is out of sight, guys. From Friday to Sunday, best believe your boy was depressed as fuck. I took the biggest owl, bro, because it felt, it, it, to you guys, technically, it was like I was never in the UK. <laughs> Boom! All the footage that had that stuff on. I'm actually getting frustrated thinking about this, because this was like two, three weeks ago. I was hoping I'd find the card, to be honest. Nothing. I'm okay with it now. I accepted that the card's gone, and that whole collab footage with Brandon and Gabriel was gone. We trained. We. It was so lit. It was so lit. And... Another, in my opinion, because end of the day, I only travel so I can make content for you guys. In my opinion, another 1,000 to 2,000 US dollars down the drain. And in that time, I was soul searching because I was like, what is going on? Since September, everything has been hitting me in the face. And I spoke to my mom. I spoke to a lot of people, guys. And my mom was just like, and I was just like, bruh. This is nothing. Think of where you were at the beginning of this year, bro. I was in a room with other people in there that I disliked, that were low-key. I'm not even going to go there, but you know what I'm going to say. Guys, I, I, I sat back, I took a step back, and I said I'm thankful, bro, because my life has changed. I'm at the bottom right now, but this is a new bottom. This is like, you know, like... You, you, this is this is my flat line. This used to be my flat line. We've elevated. We leveled up. And I was just like, why? And I said, in my mind, I was just like, this is what champions are made of. Champions are made out of the people who keep on getting kicked down and get back up. And I was like, I am not gonna be the guy who gives up. This is my chance to be a champion. So what I do. After that weekend, after I sat about it, I was like, all right, bro, all you can do now is pick up a camera and record a video, and I made that apartment tour. I, you know, brushed it off my shoulder and did what I had to, but that is the point. And I am inside. I have this fire burning because I know there's so much more to come for me because I feel I am capable of so much. I know that the people who back me, who are you guys watching this camera, Team Diamonds, we are capable of so much. And the year 2018, I'm drooling because I'm getting excited. The year 2018 is going to be our year. No more L's, only W's. That's all I want to say. If you're feeling like you're getting your ass kicked at something, all you have to do is get up. And when you get up, you've won. That's all you have to do is get up every time you're down. So 2018 is our year. I'm going to end it there. Don't forget, like the video, subscribe, click the bell button. I'm going to be giving away Gymshark, my protein, or my training program. Every single video that I upload, comment down below. Write down your Instagram because that's how I'm going to get to you. But guys, I wanted to say that I love you. I love y'all and my peace out here. Subscribe right here if you're new. This is the previous video. It's been your boy and I am out. Oh, before I forget, if you guys want me to go back to the UK, hit this video 1,500 likes. If you've gotten this far, comment down below 1,500. 1,500, I'll go back to the UK because like I said, champions get up every time they're hit down. 1,500 likes. Boom.